Hi guys, welcome back, or welcome to Switch to Life, and today we're going to be reviewing the third Wallace and Gromit short film, that of course being A Close Shave. Now I gotta say that this was a really good short film. Not my favorite, but it's definitely a great film. And with that in mind, let's talk about it. First off, the animation quality. Obviously, since this is stop motion, it's not like there's been advancements in technology since the last one. But honestly, I really enjoy the animation. It's definitely really good, and I enjoy the fact that it actually looks like the characters are moving. And I really enjoyed the characters' models, especially when it came to Wallace and his update. Back in The Wrong Trousers, his clothes were made up of plasticine, just like everything else in that movie. But then in this movie, there's lots of wool, felt, and a bunch of other things that is really cool, especially when it comes to Wallace's sweater. And then we have the voice acting. Obviously, this is a given, but Peter Salas does an amazing job as Wallace. And this time, his character actually shows some emotions, especially when it comes to another voice actor who is playing a brand new character, Wendelin Ramsbottom. And even though Peter Salas does give a bit of a one-dimensional take, you can definitely tell that his voice is trying to express how he has a bit of a crush on Wendelin. And I think that Wendelin also had some pretty good voice acting. But of course, the real star of the show is Gromit, and especially when it comes to how expressive he is. And honestly, I really enjoy his body language throughout this entire film. And he's not the only one, because there's actually a brand new character introduced, and this would later become Ardman's mascot. And then, of course, there's the villain for this movie, Preston. I really enjoyed Preston's character because there's definitely a lot of plot twists when it comes to this guy, and well, we'll talk more about him later. But with that in mind, let's talk about the music. The music for this film was good, and it definitely set the tone when it needed to, but unfortunately, I don't think that it was really that memorable, except for, of course, the opening theme song. And now, I think it's time to dive into the story itself. So we start by showing Sean the Sheep escaping from a truckload of sheep, which is being driven by Preston, a villainous dog. And Preston is about to exit the truck so he can collect Sean again, but Wendelin reaches over and stops him. And the reason that that's the case is because the truckload is full of stolen sheep. And we learn this when Gromit, who is knitting needles, runs out of wool. And then in the newspaper, we see that there's a wool shortage because all the sheep are going missing. Then Preston sees Sean walk into the home of Wallace and Gromit's window washing service. The next day, we see Wallace and Gromit going about their morning routine, except there's a few bugs in Wallace's new oatmeal shooting machine because something has chewed through the wires. And then they end up getting a call to go window wash an antique store so they go over there and while Gromit washes the windows Wallace ends up having a conversation and falling in love with Wendelin who is the wool shop's owner and while all that's happening Preston is going into Wallace and Gromit's home except it turns out that these guys aren't buffoons Wallace and Gromit actually do a really good and fast job at cleaning the windows, meaning that Preston now has to hide and he can't get Sean the sheep. But that is when Sean is discovered to be causing a lot of havoc in Wallace and Gromit's home. So Wallace ends up taking him downstairs to the basement where he gives him a bath, 
except he does it in one of his inventions, which also happens to not only be a sheet cleaning device, but it's also connected to a knit-o-matic, which essentially shaves a sheep and then turns the wool into yarn. It even goes so far as to turn the yarn into a sweater. Unfortunately, the machine malfunctions and Sean ends up getting sheared and his wool is turned into a tiny sweater, which, after Wallace names him Sean, Wallace puts on him so that Sean isn't freezing cold. But Preston watches this from the background and he decides to take the blueprints for Wallace's Knitomatic. And then Wallace, Gromit, and Sean all go over to the clock tower to clean it, but it's really just an excuse for Wallace to go visit Wendelin, whose shop is literally a couple buildings away. And Wallace and Wendelin have a conversation, and it's mostly about how Wendelin's father was an inventor, which Wallace as an inventor himself is really happy to hear. Meanwhile, Sean ends up being kidnapped by Preston and then Gromit witnesses that Sean is missing and he locates him in a hole in a wall. And when Gromit sticks his head in, Preston snaps a picture that makes it so that it looks like Gromit is about to kill Sean, making it so that he's a killer dog responsible for all of the missing sheep. Luckily, Gromit manages to find a stash of sheep and sets all of them free, but in the process ends up getting captured in the truck himself, at which point Preston brings him over to the police alongside the photographic evidence, which frames Gromit for all of the missing sheep, which ended up running away with Wallace. As time goes on, we see Wallace reading newspapers that shows Gromit's trial as well as his life sentence in prison, and then we see Gromit in prison, and for the record, I really love the easter egg, Feathers was ear. The cell's former prisoner was Feathers McGraw from The Wrong Trousers. That's really cool. But Gromit is given a 5,000 piece puzzle of a bunch of sheep, which is really upsetting because that's the crime he was framed for. But Gromit ends up putting the puzzle together because he has nothing better to do. And it turns out that there's a message written on the puzzle. And so it turns out that Wallace and the entire flock of sheep, led by Sean, end up trying to rescue Gromit from prison. And when they do, Gromit becomes a fugitive from the law. Luckily, the place where they were hiding from the police ends up being a sheep farm, which is actually the next location for Preston and Wendelin's heist. And so they realize that they can actually prove Gromit is innocent if they follow them. But when they do follow them, they discover that Wendelin wasn't really on board with any of these heists. I want no more of this rustling. Oh, it wasn't so bad when it was just the wool, but this is evil. Let me out. You're not going to turn me into dog meat. Dog meat. So Wallace and Gromit launch a rescue mission, which results in a really cool motorcycle and ladder hijinks, where they try to rescue all of the sheep who seem to be really smart. Oh, get yourselves organized down there. But unfortunately, Preston ends up tricking all of them into going back into the truck including Wallace this time. Luckily, Gromit ended up managing to escape because he ended up turning his part of the motorcycle into a plane when he fell off a cliff. And so, Preston ends up dumping Wallace, Wendelin, and the entire flock of sheep, with the exception of Sean, who manages to escape at the last possible second, into a tub where they end up realizing that they're inside of Wallace's Knitomatic, and they're about to get sucked up into it when Sean ends up signaling Gromit by turning on the lights for Preston's dog food business, at which point he ends up flying into the building, shooting Preston with oatmeal mush, while Sean makes it so the Nitomatic is about to suck up Preston. And when it does, Gromit turns it on to the highest possible setting, hoping that it will kill Preston. Unfortunately, it does not, because Preston is not a dog. It turns out that Preston is actually a robot made by Wendelin's father, who, again, is an inventor. 
And this whole time he's been malfunctioning, trying to protect the business instead of his sole purpose of creation, which was to protect Wendelin. Luckily, all of the characters work together to get Preston onto a conveyor belt, which is about to suck him into a meat grinder. And when that happens, Sean manages to deal the finishing blow, which kicks Preston into the grinder, making it so that Preston is crushed into tiny pieces. And a couple days later, we see Wendelin come to Wallace's house so that she can thank him for rebuilding Preston and actually making him into the perfect dog. And then Wallace invites her inside because he still has a bit of a crush on Wendelin. And it's at this point that Wendelin reveals that they can never be together because... Oh no, not cheese. Sorry, it brings me out in a rash. Can't stand the stuff. Not even Wensleydale. And that is the end of the movie. Overall, I really enjoyed this short film because, well, it had a very good plot and definitely some fun antics and some funny moments. And it's also the film that introduced Shaun the Sheep, who would later get his own TV show. And if you're asking, no, I do not plan to review anything related to Shaun the Sheep, at least in the near future. Most likely, I will at a much later date. But back to A Close Shave, I really enjoyed this story, especially how timid and shy Wendelin was. She didn't really want to hurt Wallace or Gromit, and she was really upset when Gromit ended up taking the blame for all of the heists that they did. And I really enjoyed that she never actually tried to do any of those heists. She only went along just so that Preston wouldn't kill her. And I'm really happy that Wallace and Wendelin didn't actually end up together because, well, Wallace and Lady Tottington made a much better couple in The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. What's wrong with Wensleydale? But with that in mind, I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. And also, what are some of your thoughts on this short film? Make sure to leave yours down below in the comments section. And also, be sure that if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe so that you can keep up to date on all things DreamWorks, as this is a mostly DreamWorks-focused channel. But also, because I plan to review every single Wallace and Gromit film leading up to the release of Wallace and Gromit Vengeance Most Foul this December on Netflix. Until then, make sure that you are staying safe out there, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. All the more for us. Ah, not a sheep to worry us. <laughs> Get off me cheese! Get off! Get off! Grommet! Grommet! Go for him! Grommet! Oh! Oh, God! Oh. Get off with you!